<laughs> oh. No. Have fun. George was going to make sure that this time Sammy and Susie couldn't escape. Wrong again. But how were they getting out? It was a mystery. the goats couldn't escape from his room, unless they learned how to fly. George. No, no major damage. They sort of ate my easy chair. Well, they say goats have cast iron stomachs. I guess they can eat anything. Yeah, maybe that'd be best. I'll send them over. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, you two better take the goats back home. I think your grandpa might be planning to give them away. <gasps> oh, it's too bad Grandpa's giving the goats away just because they eat stuff. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I mean, look at Ulysses. He's stubborn. But Grandpa's not giving him away. Uh-huh. Allie was right. Ulysses was stubborn, but he was also useful. Sammy and Susie would be useful once they could give milk. If only there were a way they could be useful now. Hey! Help Susie! Yeah! Sammy! Careful, George! Poison Ivy! Poison Ivy? And the goats were eating it. Would they get a rash in their bellies? Well, they say goats have cast iron stomachs. I guess they can eat anything. Uh -huh. George might have found a way for the kids to be useful. <laughs> oh, hi, George. Say, where are Allie and the goats? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Grandpa, look at Sammy and Susie. Well, I'll be. They're clearing my field. George figured out a way for them to be useful like Ulysses. They can eat poison ivy. They rip it right out by the roots. What do you know? Hey, I can plow this field now. I could plant alfalfa or, or, or bean sprouts. Rutabagas. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. You too, Susie. Hey, Rankins. Is that goat eating your poison ivy? She sure is. They love it. They're clearing Grandpa's field for him. I got some poison ivy needs clearing out, too. Can I borrow them? Uh-huh. You bet, mister. And that's how George and Allie's lawn service was born. Best of all, George and Allie's lawnmowers didn't need gas. Total of 48. 48 points? 
And 21 minutes left. <laughs> What's next? Uh, only hard ones. Eight things that add up to one. Huh? George knew that one and one adds up to two. But eight things that add up to one? Uh, what else? A hundred diamonds. Ooh. They're worth a hundred points. But you have to have all 100. Diamonds? Hmm. George remembered a diamond. <laughs> Joe. Good luck. Ooh, what did you find for our team? <laughs> That's diamond shaped, all right. Only 99 left to go. You rescued it! Thank you so much! <laughs> Make that a hundred left to go. In 15 minutes? I guess we better stick with what we got. Woo! <laughs> a nice breeze! Our octagon! Oh, I got him! No. Whoa. Oh, no. Forty-eight points. All gone. Ah, uh, maybe we're not as clever as I thought. George wished he could cheer up Chef Piscetti. Ah. Then he remembered the one thing that always cheered him up. Just in time. Ooh. Uh, you really like my pizza, eh? Cheers you up? Oh, that's nice, Giorgio. You're right. It cheers me up, too. <laughs> Why worry about making the best mud pie or winning a race? I got all my good friends. And if my pizza makes you happy, well, then, <laughs> what more could I ask? <coughs> Nothing like a slice of pizza. Or two. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> sometimes all eight. Huh? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sometimes I eat all of... <gasps> My goodness. Eight. Eight pieces. Mm -hmm. Eight slices that add up to one. One pizza. That's the answer, Natty. I love you. Oh, oh shit. Come on, where are they? They have to make it. We are here! Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. A hundred diamonds? Eight things that add up to one thing? They seemed impossible, but you figured them out, cousin. Well, I had a little help. It's been a fair game, cousin. May the best man win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a score. As you know, the sponsors of the hunt base their donation on the number of points the teams accrue. This year, I'm proud to say the shelter will have the biggest donation ever, thanks to the winning team, Team Piscetti. <laughs> <laughs> The animals of the N Avenue shelter, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> George was glad he'd helped the chef with the contest. But win or lose, the chef was always a champion to George. Stop it, you tickle me. What are you doing? Ah! Shoot. 
George tried to remember how a real front loader worked. Of course, if the scoop faced upward, then things wouldn't fall out. Hang on, I have just the thing. No. Oh, where did I put that thing? Ah, here it is. Never leave home without an adjustable wrench. <laughs> mm, I've also got pickles. What's up? the toys are staying in there. I'll hold, and you tighten. <laughs> the front loader worked great now, except for one thing. George couldn't get toys into the scoop. George thought about the real front loader again. The scoop needed to be able to tilt. You're right, George. Looks like we need to loosen things up. Now the scoop could move. <laughs> now to lift the arm. <laughs> well, that didn't work, but I think we're onto something. George knew Aunt Sylvia was right. They needed a way to make the scoop move. idea. There was only one problem. How could George steer? Aww. Now don't you be discouraged. Reworking and revising is what engineering is all about. I learned that when I designed roller coasters. Sometimes you have to sit through a lot of slow rides before you can zoom. <laughs> What else could he use to control the scoop? <laughs> George couldn't find a place to attach the rope. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. Luckily, I've got Sheila. Huh? My drill. Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Now to see if it worked. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Wonderful. <gasps> you fixed it. I'm going to get my toy makers right on it. I mean, do you mind if I use this as a sample? Go right ahead. Well, partner, looks like it's mission accomplished. Before long, George had his front loader back, and it worked like a dream. That's it. That's it. Bring her in. Their work was just one small step for a monkey and his aunt. There you go. Good job, George. <laughs> but one giant leap for mud pies. <laughs> Some belts would be a good start. Uh, George, have you seen my... <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, never mind. Now he just needed some wheels to make it move. You need wheels? Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe my grandpa has some we could borrow. We could ride our trikes over. <gasps> ah! 
You want to ride over upside down? Well, we could try. <laughs> George, that's a great idea. After removing the fenders and tires, George had his conveyor belt. Now for the cardboard ducks. <laughs> it was almost like the game at the fair, but there was something missing. That was better. Oh, when the ducks move, it's harder to hit them. I don't think I'll ever be good at this. getting better with practice. <laughs> Ooh, I did it! Hey, it looks like you're ready to go back to the fair. Stop that bear! <laughs> uh, time for one more game? You've got, uh, three minutes. Just enough time. Good job. Oh, looks like somebody's been practicing. She sure has. <laughs> Two ducks to go. George could hardly stand it. Yeah! Just one duck left. Is very nice of you, Allie. <laughs> you know, that duck game was pretty easy. I just had to practice, try hard, and not give up. Ah -ha! This was George's favorite fair ever. Allie learned to practice and got her ducks in a row. And George got a bear. Oh, I can't wait for the Apple Festival next month. You'll want to go with me because I know everything about it. I'm really good at picking apples, you know, and bobbing for them and mm, eating apple pie. Oh, I'm really one of the best apple pie eaters around. <laughs> George's guitar looked almost like the man's guitar. Hmm. Except for those bumps. Nothing some chopsticks wouldn't fix. Now, George just had to wait for the bumps to dry. I found some guitar strings. There were shoe strings, a yo-yo string, some fishing line, a picture wire, and rubber band. 
George couldn't decide which of Allie's strings to use. So he decided to use them all. He was almost done. Oh no, George! The hoedown starts in half an hour. We need to hurry. Uh oh! How do we attach the strings to the top? These strings were attached to something that turned. If only George could find something like that. George's guitar looked great, and it even had lights. <laughs> Play it, George! <laughs> ah. Ah. Oops. George's guitar looked great, but sounded awful. Now the man would never be able to play at the hoedown. Uh -huh. Hey, gang. Hi. George, did you find my guitar? Jerry and I wanted to... Practice? Yeah, I don't think you'll be playing with this. Well, it was, uh, it was nice of you to clean it for me. Uh, you're welcome. But don't worry, Mr. Yellow Pants. You can still play. George made you a new guitar. Show him, George. This is great. Huh? Oh, bluegrass has a fine tradition of using handmade instruments of all kinds. Washboards. Spoons. Uh, but this, this is the only shoestring. Fishing line. Yo-yo picture wire. Tennis racket birdhouse. Rubber bandolin. Oh. <laughs> hey, I think I've got the lyrics for your song. Let me tell y'all a story about a monkey. He built an instrument to play with a birdhouse racket and a mess of strings. That boy was strumming every day. He had a monkey built birdhouse bandolin. It was the strangest picking thing that's ever been. It had a shoestring, fishing line, rubber band, and yo yo. That monkey birdhouse bandolin. Let's go. Take no music lessons. You don't even need to tune it all. A birdhouse bandolin's a cinch to play. Just pick away and have a ball. He had a monkey bill birdhouse bandolin. It was the strangest picking thing that's ever been. It had a shoestring, fishing line, rubber band, and yo yo. That monkey birdhouse bandolin. He had a monkey bill birdhouse bandolin. It was the strangest picking thing that's ever been. It had a shoestring, fishing line, rubber band, and yo-yo. That monkey bird. 